today I hit pod squats, went heavy on the bench, and then I went heavy on uh, overhead press, and then heavy on pull-ups, pretty much an all heavy day. But then I did some back uh, neutral grip pull-downs, and then I did some arms. The weight felt pretty good. It's a 10 pound increase from last week. Last week I did three by three pod squat with 345. Today I hit 355. I was still able to do that after a heavy pod single at 405. So I'm gonna just keep progressing there. And then on bench, I hit uh, 315 and then 325 for my daily max. And I did 275 three by three. I'm gonna slowly build it back up. I think my goal is I'm gonna try to find a meet around August, September timeframe and do it at my lower body weight to really prove to myself that this is the strongest and leanest I've ever been. And then of course, I wanna go back to the basics. I've been going heavy on the overhead press and I've been overhead pressing three times a week. Um, today I hit a 185 daily max and then I did a back offset with 163 by three. And then I did pull-ups. Pull-ups are coming back really, really good. I felt really good. I did uh, two plates for six or seven reps backed off, did 80 pounds for another three by three, and eventually the goal is to be able to do two plates for 10 reps, and I think I'm getting really close to that without the straps too. So that means my grip strength is also getting stronger, which I'm really, really happy about. And then I did neutral grip lat pull down, and then I finished off with some dumbbell preacher curls and some skull crushers, and I love, love, love dumbbell preacher curls just because, you know, as a power lifter and as an athlete, most of the workouts that you choose are barbell oriented, so it's always two hands, and you don't really know if you're developing any muscular imbalances. So what I do like about the dumbbell preacher curl is it completely isolates your bicep so you can focus on your left arm and then focus on your right arm and cure any imbalances that you may have. And that's even more so than doing alternating because sometimes there's still swinging, there's still motion and other muscle groups can come into effect. But with the dumbbell preacher curl, it completely isolates that. So um, I felt it felt really good to bring that back in and have an isolated bicep pump. I hit a new low body weight at 197. I was 200 uh, last week when I came back from Hawaii, but um, I lost three pounds now, and two pounds could probably be from just the travel bloat, the high sodium diet, and then just eating all the things that I want and being carb heavy. And the one pound is for me being strict back on my diet, starting to train again. So I'm at 197. I do look leaner and I feel tighter. My waist feels uh, way tighter than before. I feel like my love handle's a little bit less jigglier. So I'm right back on track.